Mmm. Mmm. It is so delicious. What makes it even better is how simple it was to make. Welcome back to my channel. I'm Myra from Low Carb Love. Now, most of you know I've lost over 100 pounds by making healthier versions of some of my favorite foods. So today we are going to be making a Mexican dish. For those of you that don't know, I am Mexican. But this is gonna be like a very quick, like very, very quick version, okay? We're gonna be using some jarred salsa because of course you can make it homemade and I do have a recipe for that. But this is like on those days where you're like, okay, I want something hearty. I want something delicious. I want something nutrient dense. So this right here is like a really, really yummy and um, easy breakfast, okay? So this is kind of like a dump and bake. Dump everything into the casserole, bake it, and then boom, you're good to go. Okay. Okay. So before we get started, I just wanted to show you my haul from Thrive Market. If you've been following me for a while, you know that I've been using Thrive for years and years. Absolutely love them. If you don't know about Thrive, Thrive is an online membership market. So everything is literally delivered straight to your door. You're guaranteed a savings. They have super clean ingredients, which of course I love. They have something for everyone. So if you're vegan, keto, paleo, they make products for everyone and you could just go on there and kind of click your preferences and then you pull up all your snacks and sauces and everything that you personally love. Now, what I love to buy at Thrive are like a lot of my specialty ingredients or things that I have to go to like different stores. For this recipe, we are gonna be using the salsa from Siete because I love Siete. I love their, not only their chips, their sauces, but their, their um, brand is really, really clean. So they have super clean ingredients and actually really tasty. I got some seasonings and stuff like that as well. And then like these here are some grain-free pretzels, which are super delicious. But anyway, these are just some of the goodies that I got, sauces to make really quick meals. I'm always looking for sauces and things that just make my life easier. And um, these always do the trick. So right now, Thrive is actually doing a promo where you get 30% off on your first order, plus a free gift up to $60. So I'll go ahead and leave a link in the description below. But I just kind of wanted to show you my haul, so I'm gonna get this out of the way and then let's get started on our casserole. So a lot of these things are just very basic stuff. So we have our eggs, we have some cheese, our salsa, and then we just have a little things for the toppers, okay? Now for the tortillas, I'm using some low carb tortillas just to keep everything low carb. I like these because they have 30 calories and just three net carbs. So I can make a lot of like my favorite Mexican dishes with um with them okay the first thing i'm going to start off with is just spraying a little bit of avocado oil and you could do single tortillas right we can we can definitely do single now i want to be able to taste the tortillas so i'm gonna go ahead and just put like a few extra see so it looks you know what I mean? Like it's not like skimpy where it's just like barely any. And now I'm telling you, this is literally super, super, super easy. Mm, this is, this one's really good. It's actually a little spicy though. And then we're gonna pour a little bit of salsa. Okay. Okay. And then let's go ahead and spread this. Just a little. And for this dish, I would typically maybe use like my traditional um, salsa that my mom makes for huevo rancheros. It's my favorite breakfast, favorite Mexican breakfast. It's literally the breakfast that we have every single, single year on Christmas day because it is our favorite. It's like a family favorite. But um, obviously to make the salsa, it's not that difficult, but you gotta get the garlic and the onion and tomato and chop it and then you have to saute. So it does take time. It's worth it but this remember is just quick just dump and bake okay <laughs> so let's go ahead and add in our huevitos so we're gonna add in our eggs and you just add in as many as you want if you have like a big party you can add in more um, if you don't then just add in you know three or four you know what I feel like we are missing a little more volume so let's go ahead and add one more egg because I mean eggs come on eggs are a great source of protein they are super low in carbs super delicious so okay so we have our five eggs okay and now we're going to just top it with more salsita 
Okay, so remember, shakshuka is like cooked in salsa. Like it's not dry. You want it to be saucy when you serve it. It's nice and juicy. The salsa's nice and hot. Um, obviously, it's gonna be nice and cheesy. This is just like a little Mexican blend. And then wait until you see how I top this, okay? The toppings for this dish are what really take it over the top. Make sure it's all covered so it gets like really nice and cheesy. But do you see how easy that is? Tortillas at the bottom, throw in your favorite salsa, toss, it, toss your eggs, a little bit of salsa on top, finish it off with your favorite cheese. I'm just using a Mexican blend cheese, but like you can literally use mozzarella or whatever you want, and then you're ready to go. Um, my oven's preheated to 400 degrees, so I'm just gonna toss it in there. Basically, at this point, the only thing you're doing is cooking the eggs to your liking and making sure the cheese is nice and melty. So I'm gonna toss it in and then wait to see how this is topped and served. You are going, you're gonna be impressed, honestly. It's so easy, it literally took how long to put together. It's going in. So while my casserole's baking, I already have my red onion, a little bit of green onion, some jalapenos. Obviously, this is just completely optional, but if you like that spice or the taste of jalapenos, then you'll want to do this. If you like the, the taste of jalapenos, but you don't like the spiciness, um, just make sure that you cut out the veins. So it's not really the seeds that are spicy, it's the veins. So that little guy right there, like the little white part, that is what carries all the spice. Right, we don't need too much. And then some cilantro. This is just a little garnish, a little topper. Actually, for with Mexican dishes though, I feel like cilantro is so, it's just like a crucial ingredient. Like it just doesn't taste the same without it. So we have a little bit of cilantro. And then we have our avocado. So it's just gonna add healthy fats. It's always good to make sure that your dishes do have healthy fats because um, fats are what are gonna keep you satiated longer. So you want that protein, you want those fats. This is what we're gonna top it with. A little bit of sour cream. Let me see, there's one ingredient. I don't know if I have it. If I do, it's just gonna take it over the top. I had it, I had it. So cotija cheese, you can um, finish it off with a little bit of cotija cheese. It's gonna be perfect. Um, you can do cotija, cotija is a little stronger. It's kind of like a Mexican parm, but you could definitely do like a queso fresco, which is a little lighter. It's the one that's like crumbly on top of like certain dishes. That one's really, really good as well. So those are just typical things that you can top tacos with and like a lot of Mexican food, like enchiladas, flautas, taquitos, like a lot of that. It just goes really, really well. But anyway, all my, um, my toppings here are prepped. Now, probably be out in about a minute or so, and then um, I will show you how I throw it together. Ooh, look at this. Oh my gosh. The fact that we were just able to dump everything, toss it into the, into the oven, and then you come out with this masterpiece. Like, are you kidding? This is also just great like when you have friends coming over and you're like, oh my God, they're coming over. I have nothing, you know, nothing ready, boom. You can make like different variations of this, but this is obviously like a great breakfast version. You can make like a kind of like an enchilada casserole version. There are just so many. Let me know if you guys like these like dump and bakes where you can literally dump everything in and toss it in the oven. Yeah, I, I am <laughs> definitely, I always try to just find really, really easy, yummy recipes um, for not only for myself, but for the whole fam. So anyway, now we're gonna go ahead and top it. I think I'm just gonna top it in the casserole because it looks beautiful. So I'm just gonna top it with a little red onion. You can actually put this into the, into the oven if you don't like raw onion. I personally do, so I like the little crunch and the flavor of it. So I'm doing it like this. Okay, then we have our cilantro. Remember, if you don't want it super spicy, take out the veins. Ooh, where is it? Okay, so you got the... And then 